Hi everybody and welcome to this new video of presentation of Kaizen Indicator System. In this video we will see the last part of the production module that is the data analysis of data that we collected during the execution of the production. So let's click on the menu data analysis. We can see in here um, a menu with all the analysis we can perform. We can perform analysis by looking at the cost of the production and uh, uh, and see what is the difference between the uh, working times that we planned and the effective working times. We can perform analysis over uh, the performances of our operators. We can make analysis on the type of product execution and a task analysis or analysis by customer also there is a report that we can share with our customers for sure for one customer at a time where we can tell him the status of the product he ordered to us and we can share with him the information about uh, the delays or the products terminated that he, that we can deliver. So let's see an example of each one of these analysis. One, let's start with the single product sum cost. It opens an interface where we can search for a specific product if you know the ID or, or we can search for products and or customers. So let's choose this option and consider products um, that we ended in the month of November, between the 1 of November and the 30 of November. Let's click search and the system shows a list of products terminated in, the, in November. By clicking on the magnifier we can see the detail of each product. In here we can see the some details and the total working hours. But let's look at the details of each product. It opens this screen where we can see the data, the data of the product and the list of tasks we performed to make this product and we can see for example the description the name band the status quantity the date and hour when we plan to start and end the, each task the workstation assigned to this task we can see the real start date of the task and the real end date and we can see the difference between the planned dates also we can see expected working hours for each task and we are working hours so we can see that we planned 1.33 hours of work for this task but effective real working hours has been much more also we can see the difference between planned cycle time and planned and real cycle times and also we can see the delay, the hours of delay of each task. Okay, let's go back to see another analysis. That is the order sum cost, that is muy similar to this analysis, to the analysis we just saw for the products. Let's look at an order where there are multiple items ordered by one same customer and we can see that we worked 53 hours to complete this order and this is the sum of the working hours of each product and by looking at the details of each product we go another time we go through the interface where we have the detail of performances of each task okay let's go through another analysis that is the 
analysis of operators' performances, where we can choose one operator and look at its performances in over a period of time. For example, always the month of November. After a few seconds, the Kaizen indicator system tells us that this operator worked 177 hours in this period of time. We can see the detail of each working of each uh, working time span, where we have the task ID, description of task, and when he started to work on the task and when he ended to work on the task. Also, we can see the workstation details to check in which workstation this operator worked more. So, for example, we can see that it is a very highly skilled operator because it can cut, it can bend, and it can weld. Also, we can see the same data for the type of task. We can see the days of presence of this uh, operator that are the days where he worked at least on one test. We can see he worked with 15, 17, 16, 17, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 27th of November. Also, we can see the product details that are the hours he worked on each product. We can see the detail of the customer, the product, the product's name and the working hours. Okay, let's go to see another analysis. And we can see the type of product analysis. We can see the performances of each execution of a particular type of product. We always select the initial the start and the end date, system loads data, and after a few seconds data is loaded and we can see the products we executed of this type with their ID and the related customer as well. We can see the working time for each execution. We can see that the mean value of working hours are 11. Also the information that we have in the graph is the working time for one product. What does this mean? It means that the system, for example, looks uh, at each execution of a product and uh, looks at the total working time and it divides this data by the quantity of products realized. So for example, for the, the product ID 8 of 2017, customer A products for a total working time of 27 hours and divided by 3 are 9.26 hours. Okay. With the same logic we can see at the lead times of production, the time is the the information we need to tell to the customer the delivery date, that is the hours that we start and we end a product. And also we can see the working time for each task. And it is always a mean value. We can say that for example, for the cut task, for this type of product was executed 10 times and the mean working time is 2 hours point 17. Okay, let's go to see another analysis. And we can see the task analysis. We can see here the list of tasks we can choose. And for example, we choose the cut task. And we can see the historical task times considering all products for the task cut. We choose to see the performances of the tasks executed between November, the first day of November and the 31st day of December. 
insert. And also, now we can see products in which this task has been used, that are this one, types of products. Also, we can see the global working time in a graph day by day. With a, we have a mean working time of 9 hours and 50 minutes, and we have the details in the table with the same logic of the analysis we saw before. The mean working time for one product is the working time divided by the quantity. And also we can see the global cycle, time, cycle times that in this case are the same of the global working time because uh, one in, in each task always worked one operator. Okay, let's go and see another type of analysis. That is the customer analysis. We can see the list of the customer and also with this icon we can see the Pareto chart for all our customers and we can see in the period of time we choose the list of the customer and how many hours we worked for each customer and in this way we can we know what is the customer for whom we worked more and for what is the customer we are working less? Okay, go back, and also we can see the. Pardon, we can. Pardon. Okay. We can now now we terminated to see the. And uh, the types of nala analysis we can do with the data collected with the production, but we also can make another operation that is generating a, pro a report of the progress of the of our customer orders. Let's see this. We can choose a customer, and then we can choose what product include in the report for products being manufactured in this time products planned but not already started or for products to be planned that for now we don't have also we can include in the report finished products by looking at them we can add finished products and also a system generates a report in PDF format including these products. It is a PDF format that we can save on our PC and then share with our customer by email or we can print this report, we can do what we want. It is a PDF that is specific for one customer. Also we can see that are included many many information but we have a configuration section where we can choose what information we want to share with our customer. In here we can see all the possible information. For example the order, the customer, the order notes, product ID, type and name of product, the information about the planning of the product in production, the timeline of the execution of the tasks so we can see which tasks we ended and which tasks we already need to do and so on. But I repeat all these parameters are fully customizable for for the general reports or for customers. Okay, so let's close this tab, go back to the data analysis main interface, just to say that uh, this uh, presentation ends here and the production module also ends here with the analysis of data collected by the planning and by the execution of the production.
and also this interface of data analysis is supplied with the base version of Kaizen Indicator System. Thank you very much for your attention. We will see in the next videos.